Welcome everybody to Cash the Cheat Day number 7. We're starting today at the first restaurant which is... Bye, to Burger King. King! Yes, Burger King. So we're gonna get our stuff and then we teleport right now to the next location. And we are at the second location. I normally would have done a drone footage, but it's a gas station, so it's going to be impossible without a drone wreckage. I got my little legal pad, so I know what I'm going to order here at Dunkin' Donuts. So hopefully I have the donut I want. So let's get it started. And welcome back home. It is time to get it started. And the sad thing is, it's Burger King, as you get told you guys. Presentation-wise, it's a French toast one. It looks not delicious, so I already lost my appetite just by seeing it but i had to get this one a hershey's cookies and cream one at what's it called at dunkin donuts so it is 749 this is a camel craze one uh, ice latte i had to get it ah and so let's get started this one I've, i'm excited because i heard good things about it made for rare would be the best thing there so the French sticks, French toast sticks I have to try and I'm a little bit too close to the camera I'm a little bit cut off and I have to dunge a little bit forward because I want to do the paper uh, thing, uh, translation and it's too close. Anyways, let's get it started. Mm. Well, the kids cut it as well. The French toast stick. We'll get other stuff later. Mm. I mean, it's okay, it's not, I guess it's pretty good, but not amazing. The only sad thing is, we were the first people at, at Burger King inside. They opened at 7 a.m., we were there right away, and it was dirty. The bathroom, because the business ago was dirty, so I'm like, nice. I finished uh, six down and start out with this <coughs> disappointing looking French toast ones. This is a bacon one. As I said, it looks disappointing. I have a little bit left of the syrup. Lex flavor. I got a little bigger piece of bacon, so I actually had some flavor in it. But other than that, very disappointing. I mean, this one is the ham one. It looks as appetizing as well compared to the commercial. Look at the egg. I mean, guys, inside my pretty face, look at it. I mean, it just looks disappointing. Anyways, let's eat. Disappointing as well. So let's go. Well, the only reason why I bought the other items, those two croissants and those biscuits and hash browns, because we went sale with the coupon. I think those six items were seven dollars. This kids, I don't like salad croissants. It's supposed to be good. Supposed to, I don't even know what it is. It's a. I, I thought it was supposed to be a bacon one, but it's a ham one I got instead. I don't remember. Let me look at it. Uh, oh, it's supposed to be ham. Okay, never mind then. See, I don't even know what it was. Just saw it in the Burger King app. Seven dollar coupon for that. I didn't know what to eat for breakfast, and then opened at seven a.m. Not my plan. So I'm just get that. Get the kids up and let's get it. I so prefer last week's. Ali's breakfast was way better than this. And I just, I could stay at home and have to go out. This is the other item, the fully loaded biscuit, which has a uh, sausage patty on it, as you guys remember last week. I don't like sausage, so this one is going to be interesting. Those I'm going to eat later without talking, so I can fast forward through it. Let's chase it, this one. That one actually has flavor compared to the other ones, but it's a sausage flavor, which I don't like. So it's okay, I guess. I feel like sausage, you're going to like it. Done with that, and done with the sausage thing. So the Hash browns, I never had them from Burger King as well. But I'm going to let you guys know. I thought about like, trying out the dollar tacos, new thing at uh, Burger King. I've heard so many mixed reviews about it. 
And based on this breakfast, it's most likely out of the picture. I don't like it at all. Headphones are actually not that bad. Well, you should drop them. And the funny part is, I just have to get to this and hungry. And the first for the video, I'm gonna give away this one to the kids because I don't like it at all. So instead of me eating it, they can try it. If they don't like it, they throw it away because why, why eat it? It's not, I mean, I got it with the deal, but it's just horrible tasting. So I have to adjust my macros for that and they're gonna have it. You guys want that? You just have to share it. Go ahead and put it on your plate. Just cut in half. So that's, got, that's taken care of. So I'm not messing up my stomach because I don't like it. I mean, but it's, I don't like sausage, I told you. This has an intense sausage taste, which I don't like. That's why I don't buy it. So now it's this one. I don't even know it's felt. It's cookies and cream. The scheme, I guess, of the day. The cookies will go great. Calorie-wise, it's like dense. It has 450 calories, I think, if I remember right for a small one like that. So, that's a taste test after this horrible Burger King. I don't even know if it's filled or not. Mm. I feel it. Mm. I mean, it's a decent one. Nothing special. I've been spoiled. Oops, I've been spoiled from my from the local like uh, donut shop, so it's not that great. So, but that being said, I'm gonna have now my pre-breakfast wo uh, pre workout. What am I saying? Pre-breakfast snack, and like always, I'm gonna show it afterwards because I thought this would be more interesting for you guys to see at the beginning instead of me eating. As you guys probably will, will already know what I'm eating. I'm not saying it now, but it's cereal. And I always eat that first thing in the morning. Yeah, it's not as interesting as Burger King. Anyways, my review was very disappointing. That's exactly why I didn't want to go there. But I'm a sucker for coupons and where we live, nothing else was open. Like we have McDonald's, it opens up Burger King. I didn't want to have Subway or anything like that. But I'm still thinking about like, um, Publix has like this, like wraps, you can buy a platter which would cost exactly like this one. I think this whole thing without, without uh, taking Dunkin' Donuts into account, it cost me like 25 bucks or 26 bucks. Not worth it, so anyways. So let's see the damage and the pre-breakfast and then we're gonna be heading out to the beach soon. We have to prepare everything for that, so damage. Welcome everybody to my pre-breakfast portion of this video and yes you are welcome because I recorded this one before my breakfast and I hope my breakfast was more enjoyable for you guys than me just eating some cereal like I always do because I just love it at this point in my day I have, but I have no idea because the breakfast hasn't happened yet and I have no time machine so anyways, I thought about doing actually a workout before this food, but it didn't work out because especially kept them waking up. So I'm excited about eating now, as you can see the new shirts. Here you go. It is two, oh, 12 or 12 on July 1st. First, let's start out with a lovely breakfast. The choice are those. Out of my taste test, the reason why I eat them now is expiration date. I can famous milk pour first this time, so I can, uh, because I don't think I have all fits in my bowl, so I have to do that first. Do it in multiple portions. Anyways, let's get it started. If you saw my taste test, I think I was a little disappointed out of it. So let's see how it goes, so I can ready and put it in my database. Definitely disappointing. I will never buy them again. 
but as I see a scheme of the video today, this one is cookies and cream. If I work out for my breakfast, I should have a cookies and cream donut from Dunkin' Donuts. So maybe the scheme of the day, maybe I'm gonna get something else, cookies and cream later. Might be working out like that. So anyways, I keep on eating it fast so I can get everything done. By the way, if you didn't see my other video, take a snack review video, this small brown thing is really good, but it's hardly any in there, so that's why it gets a low rating. Might have to get more milk later, and why those are soaking up and have tastes of those, those are strawberry mini donuts which are expired for a couple of days or a week it doesn't matter but I had all this cheap day I couldn't put them in there and for my mom when she was visiting she didn't eat them so I have to eat them now thanks mom let's see if they're at least good mm, I actually good with artificial tasting but they remind me of something I actually like Germany they have little Haribos, like strawberries, they look like strawberries, kind of like strawberries, artificial tasting, I like them, <laughs> exactly tasting the same. So good for me. You know, I hate those, those donuts, cause kind of addicting, they're kind of like chips. Once you start, you cannot stop. Or at least they're addicting to me. By the way, Burger King, as I said earlier, the reason I went there was for the coupon. There's two other places I might go without a coupon, but dinner is definitely gonna be because of a coupon and today's the last day. You will find out what it is. Ah. Wow, that's amazing. One out there, not empty, but now I definitely have to put on some more milk. That's an icon for the milk, so that's why I'm measuring it. While that is soaking up, I can enjoy the rest of the donuts, which is actually sad to say the last two. I have to let my mom know. Sorry, mom, you missed out on those donuts, they're really good. I mean, at least in my case. We got that opportunity and get them the donuts, strawberry ones. But of course, you have, don't have to mind a little artificial taste. Let's go back to those. We had a taste test as well with the kids for those. They're about to expire. Excuse to eat them. And then they surprised me. Like, I didn't think they're gonna be good, but they are good. Good. I was just thinking while I was eating them, what actually, what's my favorite? Like cookies, donuts, cereal. And I'm like, I have actually no idea. I love everything. Like if I could combine them somehow, and trust me, the it's like donut cereal. They were they were they weren't great. So I have no idea which one I would prefer. But I have to check the time as well. So if I can eat it before. To reset my camera, but if you guys have, what's what, what do you guys prefer? Donuts, cereal, ch uh, cookies, chips? Let me know down below. Other really depends on the ones, right? It's a tough question. This one, this, these are really good, those are actually really good. Then some fresh donuts or the Swiller Bees, or I might try out a different donut place today if I have the time. If, if it's good, it's like, I like everything, except those those cereal that are that great today. Look what I just covered it all the way at the bottom, all the chocolate ones. I'm done. 
my nose is running. I have a cold already. Um, let me see how my stomach feels. Okay. No. The reason why I did that is not to show you my horrible dance moves. Um, it used to be um, back in the day. I'm feeling so old. Like this one song, a knockoff of that one song, and I always like white and sour cream. That's basically my dance moves. I want to see how full I am because I know what the breakfast was you guys already saw. And I have one more item here. I don't know if I should be putting it in or not. Technically, I shouldn't be putting it in, but I really want to. But hmm. let's not put it in so I can have a nice digestion. I can show you guys. Well, I think I bought one of my favorite ones, white chocolate. But what time says 26 mm. you know what yeah, eat it if I can make it in a couple of minutes I can put it in ah, if you could open it it would help oh the sign I should be eating it I want to eat it before the time runs out ah. Horrible start. Didn't count for this one. Didn't want to. Mm. If I don't didn't make a breakfast, there's a reason. Okay, you guys can see. Oh, okay. If you guys could see, it's 12 30. I'm using this opportunity. Actually, I should have a minute so I can do it. Fun fact I heard the other day. Milka, the name actually comes out of milk and uh, cocoa, and the term is cacao plant, so it's uh, milk uh, this together. Anyways, fun fact. So that's it. More damage than expected. Didn't account for this one. This one was amazing. I love white chocolate. I have like 40 seconds before my camera shuts off. Let's see the damage, and hopefully, this was not a bad omen. You guys already know, breakfast wise, I complain about this then it did damage so see the damage and let's see what we got into maybe another food place or the beach i don't know yet we will see Welcome everybody. I don't have to tell you where we are. We are at the beach. Casualty number, TJ number seven going on. The kids are having fun with cold water. I did the riding, old school time. The lens is always broken, so my kept broke the camera. Having fun at the beach. We are going to go to uh, St. Augustine to the historic city later afterwards. Because we at the beach here. I don't know what we're gonna eat. We're gonna, definitely gonna have a snack over there, some treat. I thought about getting a donut, or a, donut, a new donut place, but I don't know if I feel like donuts. I might be getting a treat there. I don't know what. And then I want to say something. The waves are so hot. Oh my god, hi! Uh, yeah, so we gotta be doing a little bit of walking and less talking. It's just part of the routine, part of our fun. So the kids can have more candy or sugar stuff so they have to walk. Walk it out. Like the song. <laughs> Anyway, so my update, next thing should be either some more pictures of you see something cool here at the beach or it's going to be us in the historic St. Augustine getting some stuff or maybe I go to the donut place, which is not in St. Augustine, is it St. Augustine but on the historic district, I have to try up there. I have no idea, I have to decide after our like hour walk or longer, hour to hour and a half, depending how uh, the heat is killing us because any of us like getting hot really fast, so I don't know, hopefully you can understand the word because with the wind and the waves, you might not hear me. So, I'm, I stop rambling on like always, so let's see what's gonna be next. So, when the kids decide, oh, I'm so dark here. So, so the kids decided to get Domino's. I got the Memphis 
16 inch Brooklyn style barbecue pizza and a strawberry milkshake which looks, I don't know, looks and tastes like vanilla but hardly any strawberry. Messed up so I'm gonna start out. I haven't had Domi's for a while and the reason why we have it is 50% off. Let's get started. Way too hot. Funny part is the manager complained that he's losing money on the pizza. I know what to think about it. I mean, it's a decent taste. I prefer, still prefer the barbecue sauce from Papa John's. By the way, we're eating outside at McDonald's. Hopefully, we're not going to get kicked out because we're eating Domino's pizza. I bought a shake and ice cream for the kids. I forgot, the guys. We don't want any cheaters here. Same day, uh, focus on it. 128, same day. So, sorry. What well, supposed to be planned for dinner? Here's we're starving after the beach, so change the plans. So much nicer than being in the car and filming out here. I'm gonna get the barbecue sauce on my pants now. Ah. Shake done. I wish I could say shake number one, but I only have one. A one thirty eight while I'm being so dark. I don't know what's going on with the camera, I need to figure out some settings, I guess. So I'm done now, a little quick snack, and um, everything was disappointing. The, the pizza wasn't all great, and especially the strawberry shake was disappointing. I should have gone somewhere else, but McDonald's was right around the corner from Domino's, and we found a place outside for it. So, that's it for now. Welcome everybody, we're back home and I think obviously it didn't work out. I want to eat at a certain place and have a nice thumbnail picture. Didn't work out and I, I was tired waking up that early. It was a lot of heat. We had to walk a lot because the parking spot was far away, a one way 30 minutes with the heat. Her being exhausted, we were at the beach a long, long time. Didn't work out, so I got some donuts instead. But before I show you guys the donuts, oops, I just fell down. Like something fell down, I don't know what. Did I break some donuts? I don't know. Anyway, to show you the time, and I, but I have a, a surprise for the kids. It's 4.32. Kids, come here real quick. Surprise. It's literally a surprise. Come here real quick. Where's Sebastian? Come here. Wait, wait, wait. Sebastian, and by the way, I have a fly in here which is going to really annoy me. Sebastian, you need to hurry up because I have to cut all the stuff out because it's, it's time management, right? So you're supposed, supposed to come fast. <laughs> Sorry guys, so now I have to, I have to do a cut. Here's the surprise! The first, the first real kid has a surprise. I got a little melted. You guys can eat in front of everybody here. Here, yeah, right here. Pick one, each picks one. I'm gonna eat one too. Which I have to actually scan first first in mine. Kids, you guys are gonna see the first ones they ever had. I grew up on them in Germany. The real ones. I have no idea how they got them in there, but I found them in the store. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it. Anyways, I have to scan it because okay. I wasn't planned for. Okay. Okay. Open. Oh, cool! Yeah. Oh my God, look. You guys like it? I love it. Wow. We like tender surprises. Okay, now that you guys have it, go 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 to the site so I can start doing my food for the people. I just want to have the people see your first reaction, to opening it, seeing the toy inside, and everything. First time is always the best time. So before I eat that, I'm gonna start over that. I'm not gonna show you the time again, cause you guys saw it's not. I think, I think it's a little calm out of Russia. A little melted, cause I had them after the doctor appointment in the car, of Florida, 100, 100 degrees. That's why you don't normally do in some Germany during summertime. Mm. It's exactly the same. Chocolate is the same in all kinds of stuff, so 
Mm. Oh, nice. Mm. Mm. I like the, the carving that you go in a second. Mm. So I'm gonna be doing the donut in a second. I'm just gonna put on some coffee. I got it on clearance at Target. It's oat milk blended with cold brew. I need to put in some caffeine into my body. Instead of going out and saving some money because this those donuts were expensive. They were about to close. I got the last ones. Quickly. No, no, I got these. Two cars. They drive. I'm trying to put. I'm, yeah, you guys can build that. And and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be putting that three other kids ones and I'm. Uh, hey guys, guys, I need to, re to tell the people stuff. Okay, please. Um, I'm I'm gonna re put the names in on the bottom. While I eat the name, I'll give you a little short description of how to taste. But those are the ones. Those. Let me see them. They're kind of cool. The last ones. I didn't have a lot of selection. It was literally the last ones to get. So I'm gonna start out with. They have one. Some peanut butter, nut butter thing after everything on the line, so I'm gonna tell you on the bottom. I trade with the kids because each one shows one. I had to do that, so I'm gonna start out with that. That's how it looks instead of my pretty face. That's how it looks. Let's get it started. By the way, they're all used ones. They're all that take one. Mmm. Mmm. Horrible flavor of the. The uh, spark of water, spark of water. Anyway, this one, little try. Literally, this one. I don't know if it was because I came in so late. Because I closed it at three, I came in at two forty, two fifty. Oh, they're not good. But that was that. Mm. I don't know. This one is kind of interesting. It's like I think strawberry lemonade, if I'm not mistaken. So let's try that one. Fight over over the toys out of kind of surprise. You know how it goes. Mm. Mm. The strawberry lemonade one wasn't that bad. I don't know. Like I'm feeling like kind of like old. I kind of I don't know where, where I know, know that flavor from. Maybe I had some strawberry lemonade like that before. Anyway, so this one is strawberry filled. This one is just chocolate glazed, I believe. This one's something maple bacon. I got three. But a lot left of those, like the last three. So either they're not good or they had a lot of them. So I don't know. Let's do the bacon ones. Oh. I really taste the bacon. I wish I would have a little bit more maple syrup flavor. A little lacking on that one, but. The oh, maple bacon one is my favorite or the three I had so far. Except it would be way better missing the maple flavor. Mm. Let's do the strawberry one. Yeah, I also three left out of the strawberry one. I don't know <laughs> if that's a good sign or not. After. Oh God, I don't think it's. <laughs> I might have to trade with the children because this one is not regular strawberry. I think it's strawberry chili. <laughs> guys, guys, come here for a second. Well, that one do I have one. Guys, come here for a second. Come here. Each, each, each taste a little bit here of, of the jelly, please. Just a little bit. Because, because, no, that with your finger. Because you guys want to have one. Just take with the finger a little bit, a little bit of the jelly. Watch out, go get some, something to drink. Okay, come here, come here, the other people, is it good? Is it spicy? Spicy the best, you like it or not? Yeah, let's try this, um, stretch my tongue like this. No, 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 I don't want to do that. Okay, so I have to eat the third one of this, it's a little spicy. I think it's spicy strawberry one, so. No, I didn't hear that. It's pepper in it, so it's going to pay attention. Mm. But even, but, but, it, yeah, but even besides, besides it being spicy, I like the spice. There's kind of a nice twist on it. The ratio, if you guys look at it, let me put my pretty face away. Not, 
not enough. It's too too much too much too much dough and not enough jelly. So it's like I don't know. And unlike the uh, Swilla Beast ones where the raspberry one that was a perfect combination and the dough was I think melted in your mouth so made it way easier. So you guys can pick one of those two, either the bacon one or this one, which one you prefer, or the third one. I love bacon. Yeah, I might, I might have might have not taken the the strawberry spicy one. If I would have known like I would have got one of the cake ones, but I'm not the cake. Fan had a coconut cake one, they had a lot of coconut uh, cake ones left, so I guess I'm not the only one who prefer yeast over cake. But this one is chocolate, I think, I don't know. If I can even taste anything, which was my, my, my tongue was a little bit injured from the Domino's pizza too hot. You guys can see. I mean, overall, with the cost of it, I think Donut normally costs like $2 and some change. I would rather go with crispy cream. Price and taste. I think the dough is too doughy. I mean, it doesn't melt in your mouth. When that, that's what I'm looking for. Like it's like kind of like I don't know. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. It's like just more doughy like. Look at the time to make all the reset. So I'm really not gonna go back there. So all positive reviews on Yelp and Google. Not for me, so I'm not going back. It was a last minute decision to stop by there. They rather couldn't go to the other place. Hopefully gonna go next week. And nah, now I have to eat it. So, guys, I leave one behind of, of this uh, strawberry ones. I don't know if I'm gonna eat it. You guys, ah, let me show you the time, 4.50. Ah, can I see it? 4.50. I don't know if I'm gonna eat the strawberry one or donate it to the trash can, because, I don't know. I'm just thinking about the whole time while eating them. <laughs> How am I gonna be measure, measuring them, because they are don't look that like that big but they're fairly dense that's what i was was saying like they're not melting them off so they're like really like more chewy which means they have a little bit more calories than it appears so i might be struggling on that one i have to think about that for a couple of seconds but ah i'm for unfortunately I actually had high hopes for it based on the reviews. I once stopped by there before the beach. I'm like, okay, I'm too full from Burger King. Don't want to overdo it, so I stepped, stopped by afterwards. And I don't know. By the way, the Dominic pizza is digesting fairly bad. It gives me heartburn. Not that great, but I don't know. I have to really think about that. So you're going to see in a second how I managed to get the macros in for them by the way this one has some macros too so and of course the kind of surprise but i would assume i'm gonna average the donuts out in the, somewhere between 400 to 600 that's what i say right now think about that because the jelly filling and how dense they were based on the donut i had this morning from Dunkin donuts which had i think 450 calories but had a little bit cream but it was way fluffier than this those things and they're, they're bigger than that one so might be i give it probably like 450 to 500 just to average it out because this this thing is uh, two of those and they're definitely more than 500 so anyways just the problems if you go to local ones so don't get mad if i'm off if i if you guys think i'm putting too many calories in for them i might have put it to the less it's cut for that stuff it's just like you go how you feel and Based on that, if you if you look at the calories for some of the Krispy Kremes, some of the Dunkin' Donuts, which are the national leaders in it, look at the ones I had, the one I had this morning for breakfast, 450 calories for that thing, with a little bit of cream. It had a little, didn't have a lot of cream. This one has more jelly in it, and actually that one has cream, and it's more dense. So it definitely goes before then the other ones, with the bacon on top of it, 
the other one is a little bit another butter thing and then the stuff so you just average it out all of them and so i'll probably the 450 450 450 or 550 each, like as the average. I've got as did you know. I don't know. I'm rambling on, guys, because I'm in a talkative mode right now. I couldn't go to the one place in August. I'm still mad about that. And I'm, I'm thinking and thinking about my next meal, what's gonna be. Because I hear the thundering outside, I don't wanna go outside. But I will get something. Because DoorDash and Uber Eats just delivers, like, <laughs> not even Burger King. McDonald's or some Wendy's chilies I already had. So I don't know. I have to find something local that's close by. I have no idea what it is. Maybe I'll just go to Publix and get something there. I don't know. You guys will see it right after my damage. So let's find out. Welcome everybody. I hope I figured out how, what the lighting issue was. I hopefully fixed it. I set it to like daytime now all the time, so it should be light all the time. Hopefully, today I feel like a rebels. I felt uh, felt like McDonald's anyway. So childhood memories. I always used to get cheeseburgers, two cheeseburgers, large fries, and a shake or a soda. I just feel like shake. And the reason why I feel like a rebel earlier, we had the shake and the kids had ice cream at McDonald's. We ate outside, so we had the Domino's pizza outside on the McDonald's property. Worked out. <laughs> Guess what now? I got somebody else's two cheeseburgers in mine. So instead of two, I got four. Actually, the kids got some cheeseburgers too, but I got two free cheeseburgers. And I was already upset because I had to wait 30 minutes for my, for my food to come and they, they had the shake prepared right away. So it's melted by now. 30 minutes, but well, this one's gonna be 40 minutes. Your head is okay? Yeah, that is okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyway, so let's start it. The only problem is like, I don't like Big Mac sauce on it. So I have to live with it, live with it, live with it. So nine, hold on, half focus on the thing. Nine, 13. Let's get started. I have my lovely sauce so I can eat it with the fries. I have the shake and let's get it started. I went with chocolate because the uh, strawberry was so disappointing earlier. I don't know what, what to get um, at first. The fries are already cold. Let me just get the burger. Let's eat mine first. Without pickles, team no pickles. That's why <laughs> the Big Mac was a little bit of a problem because a little pickle she was a pickle, pickle piece in it. And yes, um, the donuts are definitely on the higher side calorie wise because they are like rocks in my stomach. Combined with the pizza, uh, Domino's pizza, I have rocks in my stomach. By the way, this meal reminds me of this one food challenge I did on this channel, which people don't like, where I ate basically in one sitting 16 cheeseburgers. The kids loved it because for Annabelle, I'm the hero, like, oh wow, my dad can eat 16 cheeseburgers. Nobody else on YouTube liked it. Because I'm not a competitive eater. The only problem I have with burgers, they try. And I'm talking about try, 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 try. Not good. Whoever ordered that one with Big Mac sauce, no, not not my type of food, but luckily we're all different. Now, very part again, the curry sauce. As I said in my last video. I don't know. I didn't want to eat four cheeseburgers. And by the way, I like single cheeseburgers better. It's better ratio. I um, prefer, prefer more double, triple, and everything else. Nine twenty-five. I'm basically done. My tongue hurts. I'm really burning with a lovely pizza. Oh, I forgot one fry. See, uh, so the chewing is like really tough. And I, and the funny part is like I still feel like the donuts and the burger and the pizza didn't digest right. 
So last week the Aldi's one was way better for digestion. I don't know why, but that food just digested way better than this food here. So that's why I chose McDonald's because I know it digests fairly fast. And I'm gonna have it in my stomach. And I just felt like fries. And I didn't feel like four cheeseburger, I only felt like two. So, but I don't throw it away. So anyways, that is for now. I want to eat some chocolate, so I might be back. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it because the extra two cheeseburgers did a little bit too much, but I was surprised last week. I had all these where I was full as well, and then all of a sudden I had hunger again. So let's see the damage, and hopefully I see you guys again for some food. Otherwise, it's the end of the video where I talk about stuff. So, surprise! Hello everybody, we're in the room, kids are still awake and it is 11.48, I wanted to be in the in the pictures from some time to time, see that they are there. Ah, bad news at the beach today, I walked down the sand to the beach and it was hot, so I burned my feet, I had like a little couple of blisters there, okay, to show the time, oh, it's 11.48, okay, you guys can see, just have a pretty face. Hopefully the light is working better with the new settings. I have a couple of candies I want to eat. I only have like 12 minutes. I don't want to eat a lot. There's a couple of things I never had. This one I never had, the Take 5. I we'll always want to try it. And so I'll buy it. We always say try it before you buy it. Costco samples the kids, so better buy it and try it, I guess. The pressure on side, okay. I don't know it. I expect to be better. Hey, Emma, can you get me my water over there, please? I want it's best to get it. Okay. That helps us. They fell asleep earlier, so first tree in the car. Okay, I get up early for working. And he fell asleep, so if I stay up late today. Plus, you always want to see the, my last meal. Actually, I want to see the first one, but I'm like, nah, we need to survive the whole day. Never had this one before either. So, like, gotta try it. No idea how it tastes. Never heard of it, as you can see. And I bought all the stuff, I was kind of in the peanut butter mood, I guess. Let's see. I don't even know how it looks. A new scenery. A specific reason. Oh, they're small. Smaller pieces. I'm really chewy. I don't like it. I mean, it's okay. But nothing like special. Nothing I would buy ever again. A special lot of chewing. Doesn't help. I forgot to get one of the things out of my stash. Payday. I'm gonna eat that one bar. Thought I had it here. Too late now. Whatever it is my millions of candy. It's like almost a candy store in my one shelf. Uh, working out for the next couple of days is going to be like a little messed up with my feet. I will see you later. Another reason I did extra walking today, so I'll be on the lookout and show my activity level. Insane. Almost triple, or two and a half times what I normally do. And I'll see if you are Don't subscribe because I've said multiple times what my normal walking is. I always wanted to try this one, but I have no idea what the inside looks like. And based on this, this one I opened, this one feels hard. I, I can just imagine it's chewy as well. So, okay. Yeah. Right, let's do the butter finger improved recipe. That's probably my last thing. Hey, let's look at the time. Ah, uh, probably. I have no idea. Hopefully, it tastes good. Then, true recipe. No idea. 
second, I can't even tell you guys, there's a new recipe now. This is the second one I had, and I never had before before. I only had a little piece of kits. That's the that was my first time I had it. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be the last one. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it that much. And I think it's Eric Electric's favorite, right, Abba? Yes. Oh. yes. yes. This is a on one. But I like the Sour Patch Kids cereal, he didn't either, so you have to have a flavor and taste buds. But we agree on the pickle part. Maybe in time. Now, I'm done. I'll do the extra brushing on my teeth because that stuff sticks everywhere. Mm, and then I'll go to bed and sleep in tomorrow, which I normally don't do. Kids with the kids. Mm, off the cheat day by the fun cheat day, which went insane a little bit with some bad options as far as pizza goes and the other donut place. It's always funny like you have certain sometimes certain items that you, you have problems digesting. I know for me like eggs for instance is an easy thing to digest. I was surprised the Burger King in the morning digested fairly well. I would have I assumed it's gonna mess me up for the whole day. I didn't but the burger uh, the the pizza for some apparent reason did it but Mm, I mean, that's why I actually kept my activity level a little bit higher than usual, so I forced myself to walk more. I have to be on the treadmill, I have a treadmill at home, go a little bit more on there. Just to get the digestion moving, everything moving. It actually helped, because I noticed it's like, like moving around my stomach, so that helped a little bit. Otherwise, I was just, I have the problem because I was. A little right now as well. I know I'm fairly full, but I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm starving. Sounds funny to you probably, but I have that issue from time to time today. And there's some of the food items I had didn't satisfy my hunger feeling. Anyway, so I keep it off for now. Let's see the damage and the total damage, and then I'm going to be talking to you guys about. My looks and everything, which I have to do, step on scale real quick, show my little belly, and that's it. Now, the damage. So everybody, we had the end of the video. Thanks and be peaceful watching it all the way to the end. Though I thought today I'm gonna to be starting out with my activity level. By the way, I think I figured out the light issue. So now it might be a little bit lighter because I just saw that, but it's not dark anymore. So I have to see how that works. But anyway, activity level was 51,000 steps or almost 52,000 steps and almost 25 miles technically because I was multiple, multiple times at the tr on the treadmill and my Fitbit doesn't account for it all the way. So it was probably like 27 to 28 miles. The reason why I was on the treadmill after some meals was for digestion purposes because the, um, the pizza from Domino's and the donuts were so like dense were in my stomach and just made me feel better being on the treadmill. Like I don't know if you have experienced it, but I went on there and I felt the stuff moving my stomach was turning around like helping the digest move around so it can be but just easier as far as, far as chinging a lot of water on top of that. I just felt it moving and moving and moving and it f made me feel better. That's the reason why I'm over, over, over with my um, activity level. And also I have damage from the day because on the beach I burn my feet to the bottom. I have some blisters on there that open up and with uh, me, being active that much, it's not really that great. So I have like all the way on the bottom, it hurts, it hurts, hurts. Every little step hurts. So let's go to the meat and the potato of this video before I talk about like what was great, what wasn't that great that day. Let's talk about the weights. So I started out heavy as always. I don't know why I keep on uh, starting heavy, but 190. Then the <laughs> day of the cheat day, the night, I <laughs> clocked in at 
Yes, you can see in my stomach like how it looks. Amazing. Then I went down the next morning to 202.2. So I only lost six, uh, th six pounds, three pounds. But I was bloated. You can imagine with all the thawing you saw earlier. And my total like the water retention was amazing. Like I, I think I drank like probably like three to four gallons of water at least. But the day after, the so day two afterwards, I was already at 188.9, so nice adjustments and everything. My, bo my body is just used to it. <sighs> Sorry, Sebastian had to kick the camera. So I was at 188.9, so that was like better than expected, like I was losing fast, so then I had it the day afterwards, day three, at 182.6, which is basically today when I record this video for you guys, I was basically down, 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 and put into 1.7 pounds of video equipment, so I'm in the 180s, which I'm happy with, so the day I stopped fasting, so I only did like, what did I do with the morning, and night, a 56 hour fast, I could have done the whole day today as well, but I wanted to work out. And carbs are, are the key to having a great workout. Like the day one, day two afterwards, the workouts were like dragging the second day because all the carbs were already kind of burned. Anyways, let's talk about what I liked, what I didn't like about the day. So I didn't like that I had to get up, get the kids up early like before because Annabelle couldn't handle like going through St. Augustine. Ima just imagine that because she woke up way too early, was exhausted, heat, we wa she walked a lot on the beach, like she wanted to walk more and more and more, so I'm happy about that. Yes, she's looking at me right now, that's why I looked over there. Yes, so I was happy about that, but of course, downfall was she couldn't go to St. Augustine, which, which was like understandable because it was like hot like we were sweating just walking a couple steps and i'm sweating anyway easy and with all the calories in my stomach and all the bloatness that starts out with it and the Domino's pizza like just being in there like rocks i felt like the wolf in the seven uh what's in english i don't know i don't know geese geese in english as well not geese um goats goats but anyways like I'm digest, uh, digesting, I'm rambling on about random stuff. So I kind of felt like that. So I, the Domino's pizza was also the, one of the worst things that happened that day. As well as the donuts. Like that, I have high Yelp reviews. I can imagine, I can see the, the one or two like the strawberry lemonade and the bacon. Maybe the bacon one were good, but the rest and fairly dense. So, and that comes into the factor why I still ate them. As, as far as, and I'm not even talking about the Burger King breakfast because I expected it to be bad and it was bad. So that, that's not, that has nothing to do with bad. I just, the coupon just get tried out. I really want to try out the French toast stuff. But the bad thing about it is like my money is so tight that, that I actually ate all the donuts. Like I didn't like, like, uh, like them, I felt them. And the Domino's pizza, I would rather have thrown away and eat something else. But the Domino's pizza, was, like, like with the, even with the coupon was $9. The donuts were in the 20-ish region. So with after Texas, like that's that's money, 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 money. Anyways, so so that was about the food items that were really disappointing. Positive on a positive way was of course the strawberry donuts. I really like them. I don't know why why those donut donuts for me are like I like a little truck thing. I'm a sugar addict, so once I start with it, it is amazing. I'm hoping I'm not gonna have a binge eating episode before the next cheat day because I have that coming but mm, no know who knows who knows and knows. i'm not even going into that but in this video anyway so that was it i think all the pertinent information and of course the fries from mcdonald's i was looking forward to that but with the cheeseburgers before it i was just full like there were two too many donuts uh, donuts uh, cheeseburgers i only wanted to eat two and four was too much at that point i that's why i only ordered a small meal but my mentality, guys, I don't throw away stuff. Except this one, I threw the one donut away because nobody eats it. Ah, and that hurts me. Like, like just from a wasting food, just hurts me. And somebody comment or below on one of my videos, like, or am I actually eating all that stuff or am I throwing it away? I eat everything you see on the video. I yeah, if I have leftovers, I eat everything. In other videos, if you see it. I eat everything. I have a lot of candy which is expiring, about to expire, that I bought at my diet brain. 
So I have to add it, um, add it in. I have to add them in into my uh, cheat meals because other than that, the cheat meals, I am really uh, more on a uh, deficit. I'm eating like 3,000 calories roughly. I'm not that strict right now because I'm technically not off season, but I'm off diet, but I'm not on my book yet. So I'm just eating kind of to maintain and having fun how I feel, which is roughly 3,000 calories. And it's pretty easy. I don't track it because I eat the same thing over and over again. So there's no reason to track if you eat the same thing. There might be some, some variations because I'm eating a lot of watermelon. By the 100 grams, so those are the 30 calories, 40 calories difference, plus minus, not gonna kill me. So I say goodbye now because that's way too much. You can follow me on social media, you would have seen some of the cheat day uh, yesterday, especially. I'm happy that I finally figured out what I'm gonna have for breakfast, and actually was was fairly fast. Normally it takes me like days and hours of research what I eat for breakfast because we're off. Everything's at seven and I don't feel like driving half an hour there and half an hour back to get it, but I found something which takes a lot of driving. But anyways, kids have to get out, guys, for that. So that's it, follow me, on, please follow me on social media, it's amazing, I, I love interacting with people on it. Other than that, guys, just wait. Oh, by the way, on Wednesday, I'm showing my full day of eating before cheat day. So hopefully I can, I'm able to film it on Saturday. There's some issues with filming on the weekend. That's why I'm out of the house most of Sundays. So guys, thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. You know all that stuff from other videos. It really helps me out. Comment below that it would be amazing. It helps me out as well. And I love interacting with people, especially if the new and truly love my videos, which is not always the case. But that's it. So guys, thanks for everything you do, for every comment, for every thumbs up. I appreciate and all the comments and messages I get on Instagram or Facebook for that matter. People know who I mean with that. I don't have to put out the names. So thank you guys for that as well. Thanks for my mom for keep on helping me out on that stuff. So guys, that's it. Stay healthy, train hard and see you guys soon.